Hey guys, Jody Masegi here. I have a huge Veggie Tales VHS haul today. 29 tapes. Oh boy. Of course, I only bought it for <clears throat> an extremely rare one, which I will show at the end. And it is up for trade because it's an extra that I didn't really want to end up with, but I did. <clears throat> so, first off we have God Wants Me to Forgive Them. Lyric Studios release. I'm going to try to be quick with this stuff. God wants me to forgive them. Print date is November 1st, 1999. Next we have Lyle the Kindly Viking. Warner Brothers. There's the top. And there's the back. This is spot, or there's the tape itself. And it was printed. Hold on, focus. August 30th, 2002. Probably when I went to go see the Jonah movie because, no, I don't remember. Came out October 2002, right? I was a little over a year old, never mind. Alright, so Esther. There's a spine, a little faded. And this one I'll have to get my pocket knife out because somebody taped the box shut. And this is a Lyric Studios release. Who knows, maybe there's an extremely rare tape inside. If I can find my pocket knife. The one that's shaped like a key. Alright. Hold on. Alright, yeah. So I gotta open the Esther one. Hold on. Oh, uh, no, that print date is impossible to see. It's very faint. It was printed September 1st, 2001. That was not old at all. Hardly. And then we have Rack Shack and Benny. Word Entertainment. I mean, this thing is not one to focus. Probably because I have flash on. There's the tape. It was printed. I can't tell. If you can decipher that, go ahead. Make my Millennium. That's the, I think that's the only one, or one of the only ones with the original logo. Right, next we have Josh and the Big Wall, Lyric Studios. Here's the tape. I know, it's upside down, I don't care. It was printed May 14th, 1999. <laughs> nice. Next we have a Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space. This is a Lyric Studios print as well. I'm pretty sure this is like the copy I had growing up. And I do have the box somewhere. And it was printed December 29th, 1998. Almost 1999. All right. So next we have Veggie Tales Classics. Where's God when I'm scared? This is WB. I don't know if this is the one that has Take 38 on it or not, but it very well could. Oh my gosh! All of these are like this. It's printed January 31st, 2004. Wait, did I say 2004? Yeah, I did. It's like, what, almost 16 years ago now? Dang. Alright, so next we have the Ultimate Silly Song Countdown. If I can figure out how, unless one of you guys can tell me, I really want to make some custom VHS boxes. And, uh, I want to, uh, 
you know, I want some custom. I want to make some custom VHS boxes of those prototype VHSs, VHS boxes that are pe people are making. Oh, I know I'm very bad with words. All right, Dave and the Giant Pickle. Oh, my knees are killing me. Lyric Studios. Dave the Giant Pickle, October 15th, 1998. And almost all of these are word entertainment. All right, so the next one. My second copy of Minnesota Cuke. There's the spine. There's the top. And this was also a tape that I got when I got Classics from the CRISPR. And this one is Sony Wonder. I don't remember if mine is or not. There's the label. And the print date, of course, I can't see. So, let's put that over here. And we have another copy of Lyle. This one, I think, being Lyric Studios. Print date, October 16th, 2001. Oh, there goes Thor. All right, next we have... The Toy That Saved Christmas. I don't know if this one has original animation or not, but judging by the wear of the box, it very well could. Oh no, never mind. Lyric Studios version inside. Don't know why. October 8th, 1999. But it very well could have the old animation. Because some of the Lyric Studios versions do. Alright, then I have another copy of Sumo of the Opera. Honestly did not realize this one was in here. Sony Wonder. There's the back. Oh my gosh. There's the tape. And this is another VHS that I'm pretty sure I had growing up. Then we have Madame Dudeberry, VeggieTales Classics Edition, Word Entertainment. Oh, this one's actually in right. Of course, I can't read the print date, so don't don't at me. I will fight you. Okay, no, maybe this one. Okay, no. Toilet said Christmas word. All right, sorry about that again. Where was I? Toilet said Christmas. I think this is a word entertainment one. Okay, no, this one has this one doesn't have that tape in it either. This was printed. Of course, I don't know because I'm whack. Okay, now what do we have left? We have four veggie tail, five veggie tails tapes left, and then all three two one penguins, Larry Boy, and then the rare one, Battle of Little Joe, Sony Wonder. There's there's a top. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Right, there's the back. Here is the tape. So it's printed. Oh Lord. March 24, 2006. Oh, boy. That is newer. But still not new, because look what year we're in. We're in 2020. Okay, now, I'll save my favorite episode for last, then. Okay. Larry Boy and the Rumor Weed. This is a Lyric Studios print, I believe. I apologize for it not focusing, but I don't even care at this point. Yeah, Lyric Studios. And of course, I have to flip the box around. Here's the tape. Printed January 21st, 2000. That's almost sometime this year. Okay. Now, these two I did need. These are other VeggieTales tapes that I did need. Lord of the Beans. I finally have a copy of that. Sony Wonder. I don't see the newer episodes as much. Lord of the Beans. I'm just saying, respect my opinion. I don't really like the Snoodle's Tale as much. This one was good, though. I haven't seen this one in a while. All right, so here's the tape. Nine, or no, September 26, 2005. I think that's around when the episode came out. Hold on. Now, we got another one I needed on VHS. 
Sherlock Holmes. This one's actually pretty rare too, I'm pretty sure. I don't see it very often. Sony Wonder as well. And the back. Gaming community. And there's the tape. Oh, come on. And there's the print date. January 31st, 2006. This is probably the last print time of any VeggieTales episode. Let me see. This one was March 24, 2006. Okay. Oh, Lord. Man, that is the end of the life cycle for VHS tapes. All right, now, King George and the Ducky. King George, Warner Brothers. I don't think I... I might have this one. I think I do have this one, but... What's wrong with another copy of King George? I love that episode. Here we go. King George and the Ducky. October 28th, 2002. Alright, now on to the Larry Boy series. I think I might have an order right. Okay. The Angry Eyebrows. The one that has like 20 different box art designs. Here's the top. Fly by mites. Is this the one with the flies? I think that's the one that has the fly where he's trying to relax and he gets mad. Nope. 2002. I didn't see no pretty date. Excuse me. Okay, then I think this one is the second one. Lego My Ego. Introducing the Alchemist. I think that's the second episode, right? Unless I'm wrong, I don't know. There's the tape. No print date. This one's cordant, I believe. Also, what's with that gap up there? Was that from where there's a Warner Brothers one and they never fixed it or something? Okay. Then I believe this one's the third episode. Man, why am I... Mm, I need to clean up my room a little bit. Larry Boy. Great over on Gruesome and the Yodel Napper. Which, this one was probably my favorite. I love this episode. We do not throw tomatoes in this town. Y'all don't for to be. Y'all don't for to be. $3.50. Dear Lord. It's nice and cheap. Alright, now here's the tape itself. No print date, because I can't read it. Alright, now on to 321 Penguins. And then the rare one that is up for trade. 321 Penguins, Trouble on Planet, Wait Your Turn. This is the first episode. There's the top and the back. Also the one that proves that Larry dies and gets reincarnated as a vacuum cleaner. Word entertainment. Mm -hmm. Can't read that print date. Mm. Now the next one. It has all the 321 Penguins episodes for except for episode 3. Okay, the cheating scale is a Bullamonka. Which has the, uh... Crocodile dude. Mm. Some people call him a crocodile. I call him a little lizard. And I don't think I've even watched this one in ages. This one where there's like some rat in a cage. Okay, cheating scales of Bullamanka, Word Entertainment. Of course, I can't read that print date. All right, now episode four. I used to have this one on VHS. I got rid of it because I already had it on DVD. Oh lord, this one's taped shut too. Runaway Pride. I like Station Kilowatt. The light bulb dude on the profile. Man, I haven't seen this VHS in ages. And this one has. Space Surfing Superstar, which I think has a Larry the Cucumber reference, but I'm not sure. I think there is. I think Kevin says something about it. All right. Oh, there's a pamphlet in here. Nice. There's the thing. I can't read that print date. Let's see this pamphlet. I think this is the one that came with the uh, Larry Boy Power Pack. Ahoy there. Look for more great offers and products from Big Idea. Reading with Larry Boy. I think this is the one. There's got another one in here. Oh, no, it doesn't. I was just looking wrong. Okay. Yeah, I believe this is the same one. Phil Fisher. Guess who's back? 
back again. And yeah, there's the Angry Eyebrows prototype cover. Oh. Okay, okay. So this one has a prototype box art for this one. Because Kevin's on the profile. Super Fantastic Veggie Fan Club. Did I already scan this one? I can't remember if this is the one I scanned already. Yeah, I can't remember. But nice. Very nice indeed. Need to start a 3 2 one penguin shelf. Alright. Put that up there. Then we got the Doom Funnel Rescue. Which was episode 5. I do have this one. I haven't watched it in forever, of course. We all do 3 2 one penguin short marathon. And I, I forgot that guy's name, but yeah, the green dude's on the front. No tape date. And the final tape before the big rare is an episode I do not remember seeing. You can all still remember? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is an episode I do not remember seeing. I think the thing just cut off, so... Because my battery's low. There we go. Okay. Mirror Menace on Planet Tell a Lie. Man, I do not even remember this episode at all. Little pinheads. These these people look creepy. And the guys on the spine, that's what scared me. I was like, what is that? Focus. Come on. You can focus. I don't think it will. But yeah, it has a little pinhead dude. Which looks really scary. This box art is like completely red. That is terrifying. Oh, they dar they're darts. Yeah, they're darts. I remember now. From the creators of VeggieTales. And this one has Galaxy Gus. Which I think that's the one that was included with Autotainment. But I don't remember. Alright. There we go. And nothing there. No pamphlets. Really both and disappointing. But hey, we got one. One with a pamphlet, and now the biggie rare that is up for trade, of course. If you guys are willing, I don't really care. Junior's favorite stories again, and I will try to clean that up. I thought that was a big old tear, but it's not. This one has no blockbuster sticker stickers on it at all, which I think is nice. And of course, it's heavy because it's got three different episodes on there. Be kind and rewind. Warning, if this label is broken, you must purchase this video. And I would be gladly, I would gladly purchase this video. So, I ain't even gonna bother with that. Nice. Very nice. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I think that completes this video. As I'll, wait, 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 wait. As always, like, comment, and subscribe for more. After I open, since this is a big video, I'll open two of them. Okay, unless I get something good. Fairy Energy, Snover, and Dratini. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, one more pack, and then I'll end the video. I've already done my outro, pretty much. It's basically, you non-Pokemon non fans, or the people who only like VeggieTales. Y'all probably already clicking off right now. Mm -hmm. Cosmoem, Snow Runt, and Reverse Onyx. Nice. Ooh, I about knocked my whole phone over. Alright, see you guys later. Joe Davis Eggie, signing out.